Hello there, this is a Canadian Loot Crate Unboxing, I'm adding the Canadian thing. I'm going to add it to the titles just so people clarify, are clarifying as to why I post these so late. I got it yesterday, in this case, so yeah, on the 3rd um, in North America. Uh, so yeah, a few days past the um, August time period. Okay, so uh, it's the cake edition. I know it's got a shirt in it because they asked to double check the sizes. So we'll look at that. It's a portal reference, obviously, the cake is a lie and stuff. Oh, it's, um, I don't know if there's a, there's supposed to be a piece of paper that tells you everything that's in there. But, uh, I'm not sure. So yeah, this seems to be issue one. All the looter intel that's fit to print. Hmm. Let's see, it's, uh, hmm. Ah, sexy and all that. Uh, so let's see, it's a loot crate photo contest thing. Hmm. Okay, so you're supposed to be creative with the loot crate uh, stickers. Get it an extension for three months. That's nice. In my case, it'd be like seventy-five dollars saved. <laughs> okay then. Oh, it's actually telling you what's in there. This month's Epic Items, uh, caffeine power-up shirt. So it's, uh, I'm, I'm sure that's a caffeine uh, molecule. Uh, a lanyard. Uh, test subject wristband. Temp tattoo. Uh, Walking Dead Mystery Mini. Uh, sticker set. And there's a crossword here. That's nice, over portal themed. I don't know, I I suppose I should open it just so it just so I can see what's in there. I mean I suppose I'm supposed to, right? I mean I can't do a proper unboxing if you don't see what's in there, but I'll do it last. So this is the wristband. See? It's rubbery. Alrighty. Let's uh, open that. I guess I'm supposed to rip it open. I hate ripping things open though. I really do. I really hate ripping things open. I like preserving things in, in as much as I can. And I don't think it's really going to fit that well. Like, look at this really freaking... It's a bit tight. Yeah. yeah it's in the wing. It's not really meant for, you know, hand as pudgy as mine. What you gonna do? They can't make it too small or when fit uh people with small wrists it just fall off. Okay, let's see, here is a sharp root. Oh wait, there's a code, I you've probably seen it. Uh dang, it's a little annoying. I don't know. Sharp root. Five dollars off your per or your per Five dollars off your purchase or fifteen or more at chartroot.com. Okay, so I just use that code. I get a, a I don't know, I guess I don't know why it's two different well, is there a physical store? I kinda of doubt that. I don't know why it's five or fifteen. Does it depend on the product? And here's the Caffeine Molecule shirt. Uh, the lighting's probably not the best. I did the shooting and did the video shooting earlier in the morning than I usually do. It's night nine, something. So yeah. So carbon, hydrogen, uh, I think it's ends nitrogen, and oxygen. So Energy plus 10, stamina plus 4, sleep minus 500. The uh, thing is, I don't actually like consume coffee or anything myself. Tea occasionally, but my drink of choice is actually chocolate milk. I know how very elementary school of me. I don't really care for all uh, jelly belly jelly beans. Well, that's nice. Uh, I suppose I can eat that. I mean, there would be much point to it, otherwise it would just go bad. It's not exactly collectible packaging.
Yeesh. Definitely need to put a new blade into this box cutter. I mean, I had trouble opening this. So let's see what this one is. This one is kind of brownish. Mm. I'm not even sure what that flavor is. It's all right, kind of plain, but all right. Let's see a yellow. Hmm. Banana, at least I think it is. This is a lanyard thing. It's all right. Okay, so I've already had one of these. Not not aperture, but. Something else. Marrow, maybe? Can't remember. Alright, let's see what this is. Uh, oh, temporary tattoo. You know, pretty standard. Slap it on your arm, wherever you put it. Put a little bit of moisture on it. Hold it there for a few seconds. Standard in the hairs. Portal stickers. Yeah, that's nice. So yeah, that's a, uh, the shirt is obviously the big thing here. Oh yes, I do need to open that Walking Dead thing. I I don't know, I'm one of those people that likes to keep things in their collectible state, but I suppose since it's not clear uh, what it is, you need to like use an x-ray or something to figure out what's in there. I suppose it's not really collectible unless people know what's in there. So let's open that up. Not sure if it can be sealed back up again or not. It looks like it's glued down actually. Which is a little unfortunate because I'd like to seal things back up proper. Yeah, it's glued down. I hate that. I mean, it's already wrapped in plastic. What more do you want? I hate opening these. No, it's damaged. It's no longer in perfect collectible state and everything. Jeez. What miss it is, huh? Ugh. Okay, now it's open. Let's see. So it's the little, I think it's the little girl, supposed to be the little girl from episode one or something. So this is series one. I think it's saying there's the ratio, there's the ratio in there. So I got a really common one. Right there. I think this, I think these are the ratios for rarity. So let's see, I got a common one, it's 2 and 24, so why don't they say 1 and 12? Why don't they just say 1 and 12? Oh, glue and blood splattered versions. Hmm. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing that this might be the blood splattered version. And because there's two there. Or maybe no, maybe this is the glow in the dark one. That's what, the one that's collectible. Yeah, that's the one that's collectible. This is a blood splattered version. And this is a glow in the dark version. Yeah, these are definitely the glow in the dark ones. Or maybe it is. I don't know. I can't tell. Uh, this is the graphic on the background, I think. Yeah, it's a graphic on the background. This little blood splatter. At first, I thought it was. Um, this is blood splatter version because it's that, and then it was like, no, 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 the go in the dark would be the rare one, and then I realized that this graphic was actually in the background. So yeah, this and these are the same, except this one has more blood splatter. So that may, so blood splatter version and glow in the dark version are both the rarer versions. Um, it's just the standard models up here. You can see um, there's those two repeated, there's this two repeated. So that's blood splatter version. So yeah, I got a really common one. I got the little girl. Yeah, they're vinyl figures. Let's just open it up, I guess. Might as well, right now. I've already compromised the collectible factor, what little it is. Or it has. I mean, it is the most common variant, isn't it? It's one of the most common ones. Yeah. Just with a little, I don't know, polar bear thing. I mean, it's nice. It's nice. I kind of wish there was at least some sort of pupil in it. I mean, I get it's supposed to look like it's been dead for a while. It's got no mouth ripped off. I guess something decided to chew our mouth out. Lovely. 
So that's nice. That's nice. Um, well, that's that's about it. I got the shirt, the lanyard thing, stickers, temporary tattoo. Oh, here. Oh, wait. That's something. That's something else. That I have. That's a recipe. There's this thing, which is uh, like a contest. Uh, there's the wrist strap. There's a five or fifteen dollar discount. This that's that's it. Not too bad. I think last month was also a shirt as well. It was the um, uh, Kool Aid crossed with uh, Deadpool. Dead cool, I call it. Mm, I just had bubblegum flavor. That's good. I like the pink bubblegum flavor actually. So that's it. If you enjoyed this video, look for more Loot Crate Canada in the months to come. Maybe I'll actually have two in less than a month if this one actually comes on time. It comes within the month. Bye-bye. Mm.